Okay, a nice windy day. Yes, yes. The gang stalkers. As soon as I pulled up, they were standing right there for about 10 minutes. Uh, uh, I pulled out the phone and then they decided to just, uh, to not, uh, to stop doing whatever it is that they were doing. Um, they were like standing there and then I heard all sorts of stupid shit, like talking and stuff like that. And I pulled out the phone and so then they decided to finally move. They were just like stuck in, in, in place <laughs> for a little bit. You know, doing this talking and stuff. And not leave me alone. The robot people. Jeez. So I just wanted to pull this out. And to show, you know, today's one of those days. Today's one of those days. It's, it was it was nice and warm, and all of a sudden it's, it's real windy and uh, weird. This is one of the parks that I come to sometimes. It doesn't take long for people to show up, but they will. Um, it's a Sunday morning. It couldn't be more than 7 a.m., maybe 7, 7.30 a.m. You know, a nice brisk morning. Uh, I've already had a couple of people straight by. But, uh... And, uh, you know, this is all for my own personal record. I'm not really concerned. Like, if, if someone's writing uh, comments and stuff like that, you know, stupid comments, I already know who you are. There's no point in even trying. I'm just going to delete them. <laughs> I already know who you people are, so. There's no point in, in, uh, in doing whatever it is that you're doing. It's just kind of stupid. It's, it's kind of like, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of a, of a couple things. It's like debating the Bible. It's like someone's going to tell you, going to come and try and tell you how things are, right? It doesn't mean that they're right, especially because they weren't there. All these preachers and priests and all this other stuff, they're just, they're just going by what the story in the book has said. None of them were there. Which one was, was there? to tell you that what actually happened if anything if it, it if it happened at all i'm one of those people that believe that it never happened but good luck going into a church and convince i've actually done it once or twice i went to a um one of the things that i find interesting sometimes is that some of these places will try and uh, feed you and then they'll open up with a prayer. Like, if, like that's one of the things that I found at the Santa Ana Civic Center. Uh, I have some videos on that, where volunteers would show up and they would give food away. But the condition, one of the conditions was is that you had to sit there and listen to the prayer. That's one of the interesting things that I found. It's like, oh, it's a form of indoctrination. And if you, if you don't want to participate in that sort of thing, I mean, you know, the idea, though, is that they're not, actually, they're not actually giving food away for free. What they want is for you to pray with them. And then it comes with this, uh, this, this attachment. Praise God. Praise God. Um, God bless you. That's one of the things that I've noticed... Uh, and there's no, there's no such thing as God. That's one of the things that I've noticed um, that I'm dealing with on a regular basis when I deal with these creatures, these machines. Like if they want to give me anything or donate something, I say no, no thank you. One of the first things that they'll say is, uh, I'll pray for you or, or, or uh, hope God is with you and stuff like that. I don't understand where that comes from because I have my own personal belief and knowledge that this God that they keep trying to jump down your throat doesn't exist. None of them exists. What does exist is technology. Like one like right now I'm being harassed by some form of technology. 
when I, it's actually, and it came, came with those people. It was attached to those people and then somehow they attached it onto me and now I gotta get rid of it. That certainly isn't God. That's, that's some form of technology, that's some type of harass, some type of ability to harass and try to control your thoughts without your permission. I'm glad that, and I'm getting rid of it, I'm dealing with it. But it, it, it's about harassment. Well, some of it is harass, like, you know, when you're dealing with this type of stuff, it comes with these attachments. It's like they show up and, and it's, you know, like, like when I was talking about the video, I mean, when I was talking about the church, sorry, I lost my train of thought. That's what happens sometimes with the, doing this mind control. Sometimes you lose your train of thought. You understand that these people who are commenting are kind of like the priests in the, in, the, in the ministers. They're just reading out of some type of pamphlet, some type of book. They, they weren't actually there to know. And some of them, and I'm guessing some of the people, already know. My mother was a minister. And if you asked her any question that related to some of this bullshit, there was no answer. The answer was faith. That's the answer. Now, I've been challenged with several issues when it comes to the church and these creatures. One of the things is the idea of forgiveness. I've been challenged. I've had to challenge myself in the understanding of what forgiveness means. If someone, and you know, one of the things that I find very interesting is that they definitely have tried to push this on me on a regular basis in the middle of attacking me. For example, here's a good example. Say someone is, a, a police officer shows up to you, shows up and starts electroshocking you for doing nothing wrong. They feel that you're a threat to them and they just decide to pull out their weapon and start electroshocking you. And you haven't done anything wrong. And then they go to court and you're, you could win a million dollars or two million dollars or whatever. And the judge says, well, you could give all that up if you just forgave them. They didn't mean to do it. They were just, they just, and you might look back and see through that officer's history that he's been running around shooting and electroshocking all sorts of people. It wasn't his first time or her first time. You go to court, they tell you, hey, let's try to negotiate. If you just, if, if we'll drop all the charges if, if you just, you don't want to, want to forgive then we won't continue bothering you or something like that but they'll continue they're lying or you could get a million dollars and never have to deal with us ever again that sort of thing what would you do would you forgive or would you take the money just you know it's just there's a lot of different scenarios that's just one scenario obviously there's plenty of different scenarios but would you forgive repeat offenders? Something or someone who keeps coming back, like a stalker, like stalkers. That's kind of like what gang stalking is. No matter where you go, the same type of attacks keep happening. That means that someone is behind it and is familiar with the type of attacks and so are the people. And it's very consistent. It happens on a regular basis. And if they ask for forgiveness, which is what the church is trying to promote, you know, like the pedophiles, you should forgive them because they don't know any better. And then, you know, instead of, instead of fucking them up and getting rid of them and putting them in jail, you send them to another church so they can go and molest 50 other kids. I'm just saying. That's where forgiveness gets you. I am not forgiving. Not 
forgiving anything and anyone ever. No matter who you are. Okay? And so, I've been through enough to know that been sitting right here one t- one day I was sitting right here and a police officer showed up ran up to me and just decided to say hey are you okay everything all right I'm like yeah I'm totally fine I'm with- why are you here this happened I've already recorded on video I had a police officer show up over there And as soon as I started recording and talking about what they're actually up to, he ran the fuck off. That later that day, he tried to get me into some type of uh, altercation. That was the same day that they tried to arrest me uh, over there. Oh, there's a cop. Look, speak of the devil. There's no such thing as devil. But this is what I'm dealing with. Surveillance, constant surveillance that is actually a part of the police state. And they got people all over the place participating in it also. It's like they get switched on and switched off. Who knows? So maybe they go into their houses and they, and, they, and they play act like they're doing one thing and then when they're, when they're needed, they'll be activated and they come attack, and attack you and stuff like that. Just like, kind of like the Matrix, where all of a sudden anyone could become an agent. And you don't know who they are. And I don't know if they're complicit in it or not. I've actually um, confronted some of them several times. And you get a range of responses. One of the responses is a laugh. Or uh, you're crazy. Or whatever. But all you got to do is look at what's actually going on. And that's a good example right there an institution created to um, deceive that forces people into this idea of forgiveness and prayer to something that doesn't exist now you can say to anyone you, you, you talk to all these religious people they're going to tell you yeah I pray five times a day I mean if you're Muslim all they quote the Bible and they do this and they do that and all you got to ask is where's the fucking proof There's proof about a bunch of stuff. Proof that your feet might stink. Proof that police carry guns. Proof that the wind blows. That's proof. Proof that, you know, the sun, that that there's some light coming through here. I don't know if it's light, but it's something. Proof that that sand is here. That's proof. Pages in a book, just like any other book, just because someone has emphasized that it's important, doesn't mean that it's proof. Living it, experiencing it, being it, is proof. And I'm gonna prove that I'm gonna protect myself from your fucking ma- maniacs. And I'm gonna keep on living. Or no more, no such thing as life anymore. But I'm gonna be around when you're gone. Bye.